I'm glad you guys had a nice trip. Sounds well, like it was worthwhile. And I think that this is also something, I know this isn't New York related or Michael J. Fox related, but you went on a trip, which I'm very proud of you because you have not been on a trip since you've been diagnosed with Parkinson's. Yeah. And tell everybody how you did. Tell the viewers how you did. How well, I had to give Melissa her credit. Wait, wait, wait. I Let know, me give, no. Make sure I'm situated here so I can hear this. <laughs> but no, I, I spent a week in Mexico with a group of friends, and they were all like, I can't believe how well you're keeping up. I can't believe how well you're moving. You're like, I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> no. like, Just keep feeding me alcohol. I'll be okay. You know? No, but you know, we went on, one day we went for like a little walk around uh, Cancun and walked about four, four and a half miles like that, and they were just turned around and they're like, they're, my friends are dying. I'm like, let's go. Let's, we got to get back, you know. Um, but no, they were all impressed with the way I was moving, the way that I could came tell, you know, you, you know, the surgery seemed to have really worked well for you. So no, it was nice. It was a nice little break. Um, I was telling Melissa, I go, I didn't have any elbow pain. I was down there. I'm not sure if it was the weather or the alcohol, hmm. but, <laughs> you both, know, both, yeah. um, but no, it was a good time. No stress too. I mean, you, yeah, I you think completely that's unplugged. Huge... So that can be, yeah, it was nice. It was a nice little trip and it, it, it did give me more uh, encouragement to travel and do some other things too. Good. Well, good. And so I think that's good for anybody out there who's not yeah. traveling. I mean, I was, I literally, it's more of the, I think we've talked about before, more of the anxiety of traveling. Mm -hmm. You know, like, do I going to forget something? What happens if my DBS screws up? And what happens if I go to the airport? Which was a complete joke. Um, Why? Because I got the card that says I have a device. Nobody looked at it. Nobody. They tried to put me through the scanner twice. I go. I can't do that. And I go. You have heart issues. I go. No, I have brain issues. Um, you Wrong know, then, organ. Yeah. <laughs> it was just. It was just like you know. So they did the whole pat down thing, and then the guy took ten minutes to explain what he was going to do. I was like, just, just do it. Just pat me down. <laughs> just, yeah. just. Steve didn't even get patted down or anything. He sailed through security when we went to New York mm -hmm. with his DBS. Yeah, I was like, here, I got this card. I'm like, I'm a card-carrying member. You're like so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm part of the club. Yeah, and they didn't even look at it. They're like, ah. So. I just want to show my card. Yeah, they, just, they turned 21. And you, so you, check my ID, please. I'm 21 now. No. Oh, well, good. I'm glad you had a good time. Yes. It was a nice time. It was a nice break from Melissa. And it must have done something for you because if, if, if anybody notices the things in our, in our background... Brian bought flowers, red tulips yeah, for from, Parkinson's Awareness Month. Yes. I mean, how thoughtful. Every now and then I pull one out. Every now and then. I thought you were bringing in a, a load of flowers for Melissa. I'm like, oh, God, what'd you do? Right and like, now you have to apologize <laughs> yeah. for flowers? I have not, not screwed that, that, that bad yet. I'm working I don't out. know. You've you come pretty close. 